Okay, and we're live. What Happy, is this, Lady Ada? Happy Turkey Day, the Turkey Day Eve. <laughs> uh, it's the night before Thanksgiving, and all to the house, the makers were making. <laughs> uh, we've got an exciting group of show and tellers tonight. It's not too late. If you're seeing this, go to live, go to our Google Plus page, and click on the link to join in. We're going to basically show and tell. What are we making? What it's it's dark and cold out, so we're inside soldering, crafting, yeah. warbling, sewing, knitting, injecting soft robots, all sorts of yeah. holiday type activities. And special thanks to everyone who joins us every single week. Um, we're so thankful for the community and all the people who have participated in the show and tell for the last um, five years, I think. It's four or five years we've been doing this every week. Um, and thank you so much. There's thousands of hours now of people showing and sharing the things that are important to them. And uh, this is my favorite half an hour of the week. Um, so let's. Uh, yeah, I can take a break. Yeah, so I let's. I can watch what you guys do. Yeah, doing. so let's jump right in. All right, Noam Pedro. Kick it off. What you guys hey, what's up, guys? Hello. Hey. Many thanks, many thanks all around. So we got some space helmets. Yeah, so last week. Oh, they look like space helmets. We showed off the Thomas version of this, so I wanted to update the guy helmet. So I was doing some tests with the transparent warbler to try to get this guy going to be transparent as well. Uh, sort of a fail there on the, that end, though. Um, so we're going to try doing uh, PET, which is the stuff that they make water bottles out of. So hopefully with that and smooth on, we'll be able to uh, make it transparent, uh, get some new pixels on there, be able to see out of it this time. And then no way. Sure. Got... I've been working on Fit Boy, a uh, Raspberry Pi Fit Boy, with a 3.5-inch screen. And we're making some progress. Uh, huge shout out to a couple folks, uh, Grieve and Sabas2010, who put together this awesome uh, GUI using a Pi game. And I really like this. It's using uh, OSM, which uh, is pulling in map data. So I actually, um, you can actually see here, this is Manhattan. Woo! Okay, finally I can navigate my way through post apocalyptic. Which is like tomorrow, actually, <laughs> uh, Manhattan. Because like nothing's gonna be open. Yeah. There's no coffee shops. Yeah. It'll just exactly. be desolate. It's just desperation and you can go, sadness. You can go to Dwayne Reed. I don't think Dwayne Reed's open. It's it's yeah, really right. it's like the end of the world. Yeah. Okay, awesome yeah. project though. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, it's, it's still a work in progress. It's got an audio speaker, uh, or audio amplifier, and a speaker, so you can actually hear some of the background music from from Fallout 4. So that's kind of cool. Rotary switch. And a little encoder here, so we'll get those working very soon. So cool stuff all around. All right. All right. Outstanding Sweet. projects. And thank you much, Noah and Pedro, for an amazing year. We're very thankful that you deliver all the cool 3D printing stuff every single week. Um, tomorrow, there's 3D printing posts, but you'll be back the following week oh, with yeah. um, 3D Hangouts, right? That's yeah, right. Still working on projects. Oh, yeah. yeah. All the time. No, Unending. There's no stopping. Unending. <laughs> Printers keep on printing. Oh, yeah. I remember one day you said, are, are, you, you know, are you sure we're going to have enough projects? Because like you're like, we're running low. And I'm like, you're never going to run out. We'll always have something cool to do. Yeah. I think we're working on three at the same time as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. All right. All right, guys. Have a turkey day. Next up. All right. Hey, Phil, how you doing? What you got this week? Hello there. Hello. Um, yeah, I got a thing. A couple years ago, I made this project. It's in the learning system, the uh, NeoPixel Painter. It's uh, one meter of um, NeoPixels, um, 144, and uh, an Arduino and some code. And uh, you do these long exposure pictures with it. Uh, let me try to turn on screen share. Desktop. OK, I'm screen sharing, I think. Yes. Good. OK. Anyway, you would do these long exposures and uh, sweep the, the light bar around and uh, get these, these really cool uh, graphic uh, effects. And uh, that was, you know, that was, what, two years ago. And, um, you know, time uh, marches forward. So uh, I've been working on uh, a new one uh, using the Raspberry Pi and Dot Star strips because they're all uber powerful and stuff. And uh, this thing is really unwieldy, but um, it's two meters of uh, dot star strips and uh, Raspberry Pi, which is able to do um, image decoding on the board. When you were doing it with the Arduino, you had to do all this pr prep work, uh, converting right. images and putting them on SD cards. You just pop in a USB drive now, and it's just like, boom, all your images are there. Um, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this out and get some nice photos at some point. Um, but I did get kind of some preliminary uh, 
output from it here. Let me turn screen sharing uh, back on for a sec and uh, show you what's what's been going on with it. Um, so there's uh, you know Bowser, uh, Nintendo, Planet Earth. Uh, there's 280 oh, pixels now, twice as many pixels yeah. uh, as before, and it just it loads these images just in a couple seconds, and you're and you're painting with it. Um, here's the uh, wired cover done on the new light painter yeah. versus uh, where did it go? Somewhere back here is the the old uh, NeoPixel version buried under a thousand windows. Trust me, it's in there somewhere. Yeah, no, you can definitely <laughs> see. I like how each year this project is getting bigger. You will not be able to show it on a web camera. You'll have to get a wide-angle camera. Yeah, so there you can kind of see side by side the uh, yeah, wow. pixels versus dot star, and it's it's uh, pretty dramatic. Especially the text at the top, it's actually readable. Yeah. Dot star, you can you can really tell that the, the text is is much more legible. All right. Well, next year I guess you'll be doing a 4K display or a Retina. <laughs> <laughs> Batteries <laughs> back. Gonna be a little bigger too. on that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Phil, and another fantastic year. We're very thankful for your blinking talents. All right. Next up. All right. Hey, Richard. How's it going? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Unmute your mic and show us your project, Richard. Hey guys, so uh, this Christmas I have a bunch of family coming into town. I wanted to do a uh, kind of my take on the annoying Christmas sweater. Um, so this is my annoying Christmas scarf. Uh, it's got a bunch of neopixels in it. Uh, I don't know how well you can see. I posted some, some photos and videos. Um, so the neopixels are just uh, kind of doing the, the color shift sequence. Um, I did actually create a startup sequence now. I'm going to see if it'll, it'll actually play, but it plays some audio through a buzzer. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little faint. I, I kind of want to add the, um, the soundboard in it so I can play, like, actual Christmas music. But I was thinking, rather than regular Christmas music, I want to play the Invader Zim um, Christmas music that they have, like the, uh, the uh, Evil Boot of Doom from Santa. Um, so I, I'm going to try and drop some of these speakers in here. I've got some more soundboards on order, which unfortunately will be here after Thanksgiving, but uh, I should have one for Christmas. Uh, I also documented the whole process of sewing this together. Um, so I'll be uh, creating an article with a pattern uh, for this thing as well. And then just really quick, this is something I, I've been working on today, um, which is just uh, a little 8x8 uh, NeoPixel um, pixel art frame, uh, which I'm trying to work on to see if I can get this connected with the Huzzah to um, be able to just have a web page to change the pixels and upload it, uh, but I'm not too sure how far I'm, I'm getting along with that. But we'll see what happens at the end of the day. So. All right. Well, thank you so much, Richard. You, of course, get an ask me on the show and tell sticker. You know your microphone uh, has an interesting effect on it. Did you mean to do that? or was that? Or did, I hope so. Or did you have a bunch of helium today? <laughs> Oh, it, oh, shoot. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm trying out a new video software, and I think it, it still is on the weird mic. I just remember it, my dance is an uh, elf I thought it was changer. just like an elf voice thing, so we kind of went with it. That's cool. When you watch the show later, you'll very much enjoy it. Okay, is that better? Yeah. That's normal. No, no, it's not better. No, no. Change, change it back. <laughs> just... I'll stick. I'll go with the lower voice, so I, I get the opposite. Next I time, liked, I like the elk. I was like, this is very festive. Like, hey, yeah. This is my holiday yeah. sweater. I'm like, it, okay. There was there was Cookie Puss and Fudgy the Whale for the old timers out there who know about uh, Carvel ice cream cakes. You sound just like that. So. Also, definitely had an Invader Zim character voice. Yeah. Squeeze. Yes. That was really good. Okay. Okay. All right. Next up, Aiden. How's it going, Aiden? Show us your projects on your mic. So a while back, um, I cre uh, created a small control system that I uh, used to power my soft robots. Now, um, that, was, that one was great. I have it back here. And uh, it had two outputs, so two pumps and two valves. However, I wanted to make a simplified version. So that's where I have this, this little thing. Um, the, Pipe, the tubing became detached, so if you would give me one moment to quickly reattach that. Okay. 
while you're doing that, we have a new product that'll be coming out soon. It's um, a feather-based um, motor controller, and it'll probably end up fueling a ton of your robots. Yeah, you'll be able. It's very so, small, it's just like our motor shield, but teeny. We'll send you one when, yeah, you, when kinda, you get in stock in a couple weeks. Sometimes we make products with people in mind um, and projects. And uh, congratulations. <laughs> Uh, what what driver chip do you have on there? It's going to be the TB6612, which is um, a, a 3 amp max. Uh, it's like 5 to 12 volts 3 amp max per channel, and you get four channels. Nice. So um, basically, right, right. let me just flick the switch here, and... Any moment now, this should start inflating. Okay. So the light. LED lit. Yep. I'm using a trinket, so I think it's just going through the boot loading mode, maybe. It's all good. It'll hang out. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Um, yeah. So, not sure if I will be able to. Get that working. Anyways, I'll show you the inside of it. So I have this. I have one five volt pump here. Yeah. Uh, one trinket. Yeah. Uh, a L two nine three D, and a five volt solenoid valve over here. Okay. And basically, the solenoid acts as an exhaust, um, and then the pump obviously supplies the air pressure, and then uh, I have a nine volt battery and a UVEC. Yeah, it looks. It looks like it's inflated. It's all inflated now. Oh, uh, no, it's actually not. I'm Sorry. not sure. It's hard to tell with these things, and they're like, they look so poofy. So it's, you're just going with, you're just trying to simplify and, and make things smaller. Yeah. Right. Um, and so also I'd like to show the little 3D printed case that I'm using along with it. So instead of using, like, standoffs or something to secure the board in, I just have these, like, little, like, slots slash, like, rails that the board just kind of slides into. Ooh, smart. And then I have, then I have magnets to snap it together. That's cool. Smart. That's a really great technique. No, no messing around with screws. That that slot style, you know, old enclosure that you get from Radio Shack, which like doesn't sell them anymore. They would have these slots for for circuit boards. That's definitely wise. And sometimes they'd have multiple slots so you could fit the board in different locations. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, you can you can like probably look up some. I'm sure there's some fan website for these old Radio Shack yeah. enclosures. Oh, there will be now. And you can check them out because I'm not sure that they're made anymore. Okay. okay, awesome. All right, well, thank you so much. Email support at adafruit.com. We'll send you an as seen on show and tell sticker. And when uh, we're getting ready to ship the little tiny feather motor driver board, we will let you know. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, thank you so much. Gobble, gobble. Okay, next up. <laughs> Tucker, how's it going, Tucker? Unmute your mic and show us your project. Okay, so uh, I don't have little buddy. Uh, it's uh, I'm still working on the mouth. Uh, I ordered some more... Uh, matrixes, the uh, mini matrixes for the mouse, and they they haven't arrived yet. They'll arrive on Friday. But I have some designs. Uh, let me really quickly yeah, switch over the screen share. Uh, entire screen. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, relay board. Okay. Uh, so it's a relay board. Uh, here you input a 12 volt uh, battery. Here's the 120 volts. The common ground. Uh, normally open and normally closed. Uh, here's an LED, a resistor, the relay, a diode, another diode, uh, a resistor, and this is an, a transistor. So then here is the 5 volt control from the, an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. Uh, you input uh, power here and the relay switches off and uh, then you, it's, yeah, it's basically a relay, but it's like has a bunch of more features to it. Yeah. And then the second thing is a design for the little buddy. Yeah, the two matrixes, an Arduino, LED, and switch. And then the last thing is this door lock I designed. Ooh. Here's a, a solenoid. I, there are no solenoid locks in the Fritzing library, uh, but there is this solenoid that I used. Here's a TIP120 uh, high current Darlington, which gives a high current to the solenoid. Uh, here's a button. This one is to open the door. Here's an LCD keypad, 
Arduino Mega because the Arduino Uno didn't have enough pins. Uh, here's an RGB LED. It has its green pin and red pin hooked up, so if you enter the right passcode, the green part of the RGB LED goes on, and if you enter the wrong passcode, the red. Here's the potentiometer for the LCD, uh, the contrast, and here's a reed switch to detect if the door is open or closed. You got it all. All right. Excellent work, Tucker. That's amazing and a beautiful Nicely diagram. Done. Yeah, and uh, for the, the relay board, are you going to send that off? Um, yeah, I've, I've uh, ordered it to be fabricated gotcha. uh, right here. Which, serv um, which service did you use? The uh, Fritzing Fabrication Service. Okay. Cool. This, is good. this is why they made the tool. You're using, awesome. it, you're using it to its maximum capability. That's good. Uh, next week, I'll show you Little Buddy. Uh, it's going to be done by then, so I can show you that. And okay. okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thanksgiving. All right. Yay, thank you so much, Tucker. We'll Excellent see you next work. Week. Email. And, and stay yeah. safe with the 120 volts. Be super careful. So no, yeah. don't get. Oh, and, and also the show and tell sticker just got here today in the mail. Yay! All right. Well, you, you get another one. Email support at adafruit.com. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Rack them up. All right. Next up, Byron. Hello, Byron. How's it going? Unmute your mic and show us your project. Can you hear me? Yep. Hey. How's it going, Byron? Hey, Byron. So um, I'm going to show a Christmas project. Uh, you know, it's Thanksgiving early because that's ready to be shown. Um, so basically, it uh, involves music lights on the tree. So I'm um, going to go ahead and see if I can get the camera over here. Right. Go ahead and. Okay. All right. Tree so identify. I'm going to use your Bertle Beach just in case of copyright. Yeah. We we know the drill. <laughs> Yay. This is the rock in this tree. Yeah. All right. So, um, basically, it's using uh, processing um, on my computer, and it's reading the the line in stream. So, uh, so um, you can use a microphone, or you can use your just use direct line in. Yeah. Uh, which is what I'm doing, and uh, I found the code online on YouTube. So I'm going to give the credit to um, SNS Creations for the tutorial that I for the code that I found, and it's pretty cool. Um, I was able to tweak it. Um, and, uh, work how I want it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Byron. That's an excellent project. Um, if you make a video or something, send us a link. We'd love to post it up. And the only thing missing on the tree is an As Seen on the Show and Tell sticker that could probably go on an ornament. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Before I for, for, almost for, completely forgot how did I forget this. I have three printed ornaments on the tree. Oh. Yeah, I, know. I, 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 I was like, wow, those are they're, they're either paper or paper. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I 3D printed some ornaments, and uh, I used some Pet G filament for some of them. Oh, okay. That's nice. Kind of shiny. This would be festive. Looks a little bit like candy. You gotta watch I'm out. Don't don't make a, uh, <laughs> a candy cane. You might you might be tempted to eat it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice All right. Time. Well, thank you so much, Byron. This is and, like a maker tree. Email, an email support at adafruit.com, and we'll send you off a show and tell sticker for that tree. All right. Last up tonight, Andrew. Hello, hey, Andrew. Andrew. How's it going? I'm at your mic, and tell us about your project. Oh, guys, I hope you can hear me all right. Yeah, yeah we can, we hear, can you hear, hear it. What you got going on? Uh, I've got several little projects on the go, but first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate you on a great product and show. I stumbled upon Adafruit about three days ago, and I think I've watched every video. Wow. So I've been up like that. <laughs> You're tired. Wow. I've been on these shows and I haven't watched all of them yet. <laughs> uh, I've got a couple of projects on on the go. 
One is a, a 3D printer, which comes in a weekly magazine. You get it in parts and you assemble it. Right. Um, I am going to modify it greatly. I'm going to build it with the 3D. Oops, stay there. It's going to fall over. Um, with the 3D head. But I'm going to make it so the 3D head is removable. So I can then put a laser engraver head on it. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Made that removable and put a cricket cutter so I can cut out uh, cardstock. And then hopefully, if I can find a small enough but strong enough router head, put a router on it to do PCB boards. Okay. Uh, um, that's yeah. one program. But I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to drive it because what I've been told the driver and software that comes with it is not very good. So mm -hmm. I might have to use a, an Arduino with a G Shield or something like that to drive it. Uh, now, I spotted some products on your website, which I put an order in today for, because I've got some Cub Scouts, and I'm taking them away to a big jamboree next year, and we've got to take along our mascot, and here's the Cub Scouts mascot. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. That's the best mascot. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Hello. That's a, cub, that's a Cub Scout that um, didn't abide by the rules and got lost in the bush. Okay. I plan to have the eyes light up. And blink, a little servo to drive the jaw, and put some sort of sound card in it to give it an evil laugh. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. It's cool because you and can use all the Halloween projects, and it's this totally yeah. works all year for Cup yeah. Scouts. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing I spotted on your site, which I'm really wrapped in, uh, is your wearable stuff. I have uh, six girls in my Cub Scout pack, and I think that would be a project they'd love to start. So as soon as I do some pricing and get permission to buy some stuff, I'll buy a whole heap of stuff for them to do their little projects with. Try the um, mm -hmm. try the Gemma and the Gemma starter kit. Those are good, and we have a bunch of Sobel kits. That's it's a great way to get people into electronics, and yeah. it's like light up and LEDs, and and you can have a lot of fun with it. So yeah, and if you end up uh, doing a, a workshop or something with the Cub Scouts, and take any photos or have them show up on the show and tell, we'd love to meet them. Yeah, and we have see what we have troops show up all the time. You had a Girl Scout yeah. trip a couple weeks ago, a month ago? Yeah, yeah, the only problem is when you do your show here, they're at school because it's yeah. um, uh, half past ten in the morning here. Okay. Yeah, we're working on a 24-hour news, uh, <laughs> but we, it turns out we can't be 24 yeah. hours. Yeah. But take, take well, some photos and send yeah. them in. We'd like to see them. It's always awesome yeah. to see oh, them. Um, once we get organized, we work out exactly what we're doing. We'll do a couple of little video clips and um, post them on your YouTube channel. Okay. okay awesome. Thank you so Thank much, you, Andrew. Andrew. Email support at adafruit.com and we'll send you out an As Seen on Show and Tell sticker. Um, Roberto just came in. Roberto, if you can keep it to two minutes because um, we're leaving in two minutes. Yeah, no problem. The, mic I'm the microphone is yours. I'm just going to uh, present these uh, name tags that I uh, uh, modeled in OpenSCAD. Oh, so yeah. it's like a Stormtrooper one. Yeah. Actually, that was a... That was Rebels, not Stormtrooper. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but it says Luke S. Rebel Scum. <laughs> okay. And I made a Trooper one with my name on it. That one's the Trooper one. Oh, that's cool. And then this is like a Luigi one that's uh, green on blue. It just says Plumber Brother with his name. <laughs> yeah. All of the source code is on uh, GitHub. And uh, it's just under my account, github.com uh, okay. slash one Berto 3D modeling. And that's the Mario one. Uh, another uh, Rebel Scum, but this one is blue on green. Uh, this one here is uh, with a cat icon, just, you know, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, be cool for you. In school, we had to, you know, make our, like, when, you know, we had to make our own little name cards to put on our desks so the teacher knew who they were calling on. Yeah. So kids should just make these in school. They should program their own yeah. custom nameplates, and then they can put them on their desks and, like, They'll have their own iconography in Rebel Scum. I, I think that's a good idea too. I posted the um, Open Sketch script on Thingiverse, so if you want to like customize it with the customizer, it's there as well. Oh, good. Cool. Thank you guys. All right. All right Email support at adafruit.com, and you get an ask you on the show and tell sticker. And thank you everyone. Thank you, thank Jack you thank everybody. Roberta. Thank you, Richard. Thanks thank for being here. Thank you, Noah and Pedro and the robot. Robots. Thank you, Byron. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Aiden. Yeah. Thank you so much. And once again, hey, Aiden got his thing inflated. Yeah. Nice work. 
And once again, uh, we are so thankful that uh, people join us every single week. Um, the show and tell is your show. We're just here to watch. And so thank you for sharing and showing your projects. We really much appreciate it. And we'll see everybody next week. Yeah, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Eat tons of turkey, be and happy, and maybe make a project with your family. Yeah. Maybe uh, show your cousins or your aunt what you're making in your spare time in your basement. Yeah, and, and if you're up at 2 in the morning, um, we'll have uh, another live broadcast that we're we doing. We have a special broadcast believe it or not. 2 a.m. tonight. So we'll see you on Ask an Engineer Six at 8 p.m. in three minutes, three minutes, and then we'll see you at 2 a.m. because uh, we have some fun stuff. All right, I think let's keep doing this. All right, we're on a roll. Okay, bye-bye. On to the next thing. <laughs>